Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to do something cool. I'm going to show you how you can actually dynamically load React components based on some sort of selection criteria. Uh, so this is the sample app that we're going to be making today, our Marvel card selector. We have a default card, so when nothing is selected, this guy is going to show up. But if we come in and we select card A, which is pretty cool, now it's going to load up the card A. Right? We come in and we pick card B, it's going to load up card B. So this will let us dynamically switch between components. And this is actually a pretty common scenario that you're going to come across in your applications. So uh, looks pretty cool, right? So let's go ahead and then dig into this. So if we look at our code here, um, I'm going to give you a brief overview. We have our components folder with cards, and we look at each card component. We have card A, card A CSS, its own image. Same thing for card B, its own, its own code base, and it's a, basically a copy of that image. But it's, they're two separate component code bases. That's what I want to um, impart here. So the key to making this whole thing work is the JavaScript object. Right? The JavaScript object is actually an associative array, and it lets us do some pretty cool stuff. Since JavaScript objects are associative arrays, it lets us access the value based on a key, like a hash, really. So what I'm getting at is, let me, let me show you here. If we have a person object, and we're going to give it a name, Chris, with an age of 40. I'm getting old. And we console this out. Let's take a look. Actually, let's do this. Let's So basically, I can get the get a hold of the name property by accessing its key right here, and that gives us the value. And if I change this to age, now we have 40. All right, so let's comment this out now so we don't need it. And collapse that. All right, basically, we're going to take this principle, and we are going to use this with our card components. So what we need to do is we need to basically add a index file here. And we're going to import each individual component and then re-export that out as an associative as an associative array. So let us start here. All right, so to recap, if this looks alien to you, you can check out my video, uh, React ES6 file modules. I'll put a link in the description. But what we're doing here is we're, gonna, we're, we're pulling these in and exporting them in one, one nice little shortcut. And this is going to give us the ability to bring it in. Actually, make sure I save. Yeah. We're going to bring it in like this at the top as cards. So what I want to do is I want to comment, I'm going to console this out so we can take a look and see what's going on. All right, so if you look here, we have card A and card B. So we can access these, this is this object here, this cards object, we can access the properties based on key. So we're going to pass in the key, which is going to be card A or card B, and return back the component that we want to display. This is just kind of how it's all going to work. All right. I guess in order to do so, we're going to need to have a select box right here so we can actually select um, whichever card we want to display. And to save on some typing, I'm going to go ahead and just load up some of this already. So right here, we're going to have a method called this render, let's see, render, um, render card selector. All right, and let's add it down here at the bottom. Okay. 
Okay, so what I did was I like to keep my main render method pretty lean. I don't like to have it you know, jumbled up with too much markup. Uh, so basically, I, I like to refactor a lot of the various elements out into their own separate methods, and then I can just refer to them here. So now, now that we have that, let's condense that a bit. All right, so right now we have these values hard-coded. We have a default value here, and then we have card A and card B. So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to select uh, various card type and then have that dynamically populate this area right here. So in order, in order to do so, we need a way to basically take hold of the selection, the selected value right here. We're going to do that with local state. All right, that looks good. Selected card type. And then whenever this changes, whenever the user selects a uh, value here, we want to store the value card A or card B in this local variable here, or this, this local state selected card type. And we'll do that by adding an on change event. Let me just uh, put this on a different line here. Okay. All right, let me scoot this over. So what's going on is on change, we're going to take the event argument and we're going to grab its value, whatever this is selected here, and basically assign that to the selected card type. Just to verify that we have this working correctly, we're going to console log this out just to make sure. And let's see here. Awesome. It's working. This is exactly what we want to happen. So now uh, what we need to do is we need to take this value, which is going to be the key, and we're going to basically grab the value from this um, associative array, which is going to display the components that we want. So let's create another method here. We're going to call this render mm, selected card. And I like functional programming, so I like to pass in my arguments into the, uh, into the actual methods. Our functions. So we're going to do a selected card type and let's add this guy. So what we want to do is we have our associative array and we want to grab the object that we want by key. So let's just let's just hard code it for now and say card A. See what happens. And bam, look at that, we have it. And if we picked card B, it will load up card B. So now all we need to do at this point is come here and grab pass in our selected value. And uh oh, it's blown up. So the reason this is blown up is because it's basically being passed an empty string as a key into this object collection here, or this associative array. Remember, we're setting this to an empty string here. So when it comes here, it's, it's not getting an option, and which is not setting this. So therefore, this is going to blow up. So what we have to do is we need to figure out a way to load up a default component and handle this situation. Luckily, we have an Angry Joe component here. So let's, uh, let's do that here. It's, actually, let's bring him in first. We want to say if this is falsy, 
return angry Joe awesome look at that it works uh, we want to give him something something spicy to say there we go he's angry guy so now uh, I think I think we have this working we just need to come here and, and pick uh, card A and it loads up card B and we can go back to Angry Joe our default and we expand this so we can see it on a bigger screen here and that's all there is to it guys remember the key is the uh, associative array that that we basically have access to now because of this index file which I am hiding and that is all there is to it my next video I'm going to actually show how we can lazy load these so this is you know just dynamically loading them based on selection but I'm actually going to show how we can lazy load these using something called react loadable which is pretty cool now, all right guys I hope you liked it and if you if you did like this video hit like and hit subscribe please if you haven't already and stay tuned take care